This bridge at Gloucester has succumbed to the power of flood water. Fallen trees now line the middle, rendering it unrecognisable. The water rose almost half a metre in just 12 minutes here on Hume Street. The surge too strong for gates and fences. I even picked up 20 litre drums off the shelves over here and washed them out the door because we still had the doors open. We are trying to get you know, the drums that went out. We shut the gates so stuff out of the backyard wouldn't flow through and um, yeah, they pushed the gates off the hinges outside. Business owners are now calculating the cost, every damaged item adding up. I counted how many air conditioner filters went out yesterday. There was 87 of them. They, they cost at least 20 bucks each. Yeah, we lost half a dozen electrical motors and um, done fared pretty well, but yeah, lost a little bit of gear. Owners say the worst part of the cleanup is the mud. For the SES, the number of calls has eased, but the tasks have changed. We have seen an increase in obviously those requests for uh, the resupply of essential items. And over the next uh, 12 to 36 hours, we're going to see the rain continue, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully we'll see a clearing trend come Wednesday. Bowman River is still flowing powerfully. Locals usually call it a creek rather than a river because water doesn't usually flow through here. More rain isn't helping matters as people can't get out or in. At the moment, there's no way we can get through. There's a washout and there's flooding over the road and it's flowing very fast. 14 months ago, rivers, creeks and dams had all but run dry and water had to be carted into the region. Now sandbags line the street. We actually danced and hopped in the river when it started to flow again and now <laughs> if we jumped in it, we'd be hit by a log. The Manning and Gloucester rivers are expected to remain high for some time yet as residents hope for a reprieve. Sasha Shipway, NBN News.